Welcome to the airplane. It is 10.30 in the morning and this trip has already taken a few turns. So we thought we were supposed to be taking off at 5.45 this morning, bright and early. So last night we're getting everything ready for bed early to get up and be here probably about 4.15, 4.30. And then about seven o'clock last night we got a phone call saying, hey guys, the trip has changed. You're now not going out till noon. Whoo, yes. Okay, I don't know about you, but when I have to get up super early, I do not sleep very well. So it was a great surprise to not have to take off so early. Today I wanna to talk to you about crew briefings. What happens between the pilots and the flight attendants just before you take off, as you're getting the airplane ready, you have to sit down and have a crew briefing. So what's involved with that? The pilots will tell you, hey, it's gonna be this long in flight, um, prepare for any kind of weather. They'll tell you, hey, maybe we're gonna have some weather taking off, uh, it's gonna be a little bit bumpy. We want you to sit down until we're at a certain altitude or we'll ding you or call you or let you know, hey, it's time to stand up. Uh, so this way you're keeping safety at the forefront of everything. They let you know if there's anything going on with maintenance on the airplane, hey, um, something is in op or not working, we have written it up, don't use this, you know, X, Y, Z, A, B, C. They will let you know those kinds of things. Then for descent, they'll let you know, hey, we're gonna have some weather coming into this area. We want you to clean up early, uh, or at least prepare to clean up early and sit down by a certain time or a certain altitude. Then if there's any kind of special requests for the passengers from dispatch, uh, the pilots will let you know that as well. So those are just the kinds of things that, between pilots and flight attendants, what they're gonna let you know during your crew briefing. Anyways, let's get the airplane ready. We're on our way up to Teterboro, New Jersey. When I have just one or two guests on the airplane with minimal catering, it takes me about 10 minutes to get the galley ready and about 15 minutes to get the rest of the aircraft prepared and ready. When it is a full airplane and lots of catering, it'll take me about 20 minutes to get all the food organized and put on ice and stowed away. When my airplane is sitting in a hot climate, I make sure that I take off all the chocolate or anything that's gonna melt after each flight. And so before each flight, then I have to put everything back in. Be sure to keep them out in sight. Of course, do not forget the lavatory. You wanna make sure that you come in here and flush it. Not exactly the most glamorous part of the job, but believe me, it is one of the most important parts of the job because you don't want to get in the air and realize that toilet doesn't flush or there's no juice in it. Some have water in it that cycles everything down. Some of them are vacuum suction and it pulls everything out. So you always want to make sure that the lavatory is working and then don't forget to see if the sink, the water pressure is working in the sink as well. I turn on the front and back TV screens and make sure they are set to display the maps. Before every flight, you need to check all the safety equipment, including the oxygen tank, fire extinguisher, smoke hood, CPR masks, and AED. They are in different locations on every airplane. Now that the airplane is ready, I will just go through and make sure that there's no crumbs anywhere, that nothing is out of place, that all pillows are fluffed, and all blankets look good. 